Hello and welcome back to another let's play from the website Sent World. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think I enjoy this reading style of a let's play. Maybe because I don't have to concentrate on playing too much, so it's easy. It's it's an easy kind of let's play. Uh, this time I'll be playing the game uninvited. Those are the other games by the way. And I think this is the game I'm stuck on. <laughs> I, if you know how to finish this game please tell me because I, I don't know how to solve the riddles at some point. Uh, yeah anyway, I'll be playing uninvited by Artim Artimidor Filakiel. It's an interactive horror short story. It lasts one hour. Uh, and it might be might be spooky. You see there are candles and a, an old book. Maybe there's uh, there are magic spells in it. Hmm. Uninvited is a mystery tale which takes place in an old house. It is already past midnight and you wake up to a strange sound coming from the basement. What is happening? Play to find out. And that's what we'll do. I mean, if you want to follow me in this game, then this is what you and I will do now. We'll play this. Hmm... Okay. We'll start a new game. What? For a moment you thought you've heard something. Something strange. Out of the ordinary. There it is again. That sound. Irritated, you look around and find yourself at a desk, an open book lying in front of you. What was that noise you just heard? You are not sure, but it was loud enough that it made you startle. You conclude that you must have dozed off while reading. Surely it is past midnight already as it's pretty dark out there. Only the moonlight illuminates the room. The candle next to the book is already halfway burned down. You must have slept a while. You look around. And then there it is again. Another eerie, creepy sound. Much closer now. You're at a desk in a study. A candle holder, a bottle of red wine, and a glass stand next to the open book in front of you. From the east, some moonlight shines through the window. Uh, for those who've seen the old Let's Play, uh, not yeah, it's not really old, but the other one from <laughs> this website, uh, we only had the option to click this uh, box, and we would be able to pick A, B, C. For example, if I had to name a pirate ship, I could choose to call it Fluffy Biny or a Sea Dragon, for example. <laughs> but here we actually have to type words, and the uh, words which are uh, b written with bold letters here are also written here, and that means we can look at them a bit closer. Examine the wine. It's some blood, blood red Italian night wine, used on special occasions or after dinner when relaxing after a hard day. Adult, defined, strong and powerful. The book bears the title Lurking in the Shadows and deals with all kinds of myths of the uneasy kind. So like horror stories? Ooh. 
look through window. The moonlight baths the street of Waldar in a mysterious, almost magical light. Oh, and there's another feature we didn't, didn't have in the old game. Um, here is a map, and we can go to the different rooms. And, oh, and the third option. We've got... Uh, we can click on all of these pictures now. <laughs> I will show you this because you didn't have it in the other game, so yeah. That's the inventory, the character, the equipment, the quest log, scores, save, load, music, questions, and exit. Yeah, so it's more... Uh, I don't know, there's more we can do now <laughs> in this game, even though it's much uh, shorter. Okay, so we are in this room at the moment, and this uh, black line means that we can go to the room which it connects us with. And in this room there's an arrow which points to up which means we can go up in this room. Alright, I will go uh, west. Hallway. You're in the midst of a hallway. A step further north you see some crates stacked up and a few things littering the floor. You think that the sound you just heard probably came from the south. South, which means down. You see the following items. A kitchen knife lies at the floor. And the items, which are colorful, we can pick up. Examine kitchen knife. A sharp kitchen knife that should be capable of fending off attackers. Weapon, primary piece, uh, primary piers, which means means we can use it to pierce enemies for example skill level 0 which is good because we are noobs damage 5 to 10 um, DPR uh, I'm not sure what it means maybe the all in all damage we can do per round because um, in Santeria, the battles are round based, so first one attacker starts and then we can either defend ourselves or attack. Anyway, um, <laughs> maybe you don't want to know that. We can try to pick up the knife. And it worked. Get a kitchen knife. You pick up a kitchen knife and equip it. Your fighting style one handed. Three attack rounds. Let's have a look in our inventory. And we can look at all of our things. We've got the kitchen knife which is equipped. And character. That's me! That's me! <laughs> oh. Uh, now you know my name, which I, I'm not sure if, if it's a good thing, but maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, we are level 1, we don't have any progress at all. Completely healthy. Uh, Kara me means magic, we are not magical beings. We can do damage. And we have some strength, dexterity, stamina, intelligence, luck, uh, and so on. But I don't think that all of this is important in this particular game. Alright, thanks for joining me in this game and I'll see you in the next video.